Hi guys, it's Lindy here. Welcome back to my channel. So I've just returned from Korea, so I really want to upload my vlogs faster because I really do have a lot of pre-recorded vlogs that I haven't uploaded yet. So I've mixed a few days in together in this vlog so you can see a little bit more at one time and I really hope that you don't find it messy and really enjoy to watch it. Please let me know by commenting or liking this video if you would like to see more of these types of random vlogs from my daily life. Thank you so much for watching this and enjoy! I'm currently packing my Hermes Click Clack bracelet because I actually sold it because I really never use it. As you can see this white color, I bought a few of them in the airport in Paris and I've never used this white one. And as you can see the plastic is still over the edge and on the hardware on the back so I'm going to pack it now. A girl bought it. As you guys can see it was only 404 euro at that time. I also got one in the German store and that was more expensive because it wasn't in the airport so as you can see it was 475 euro. So it was much cheaper in the airport, that was the reason that I got two. But I'm going to pack this now and say bye because I've really never used it. And as you can see, it's from 26th October 2012, so almost like four years ago. So I've just packed it. So here we are working on a photo shoot of my newest handbag. And this is a professional model, she's really popular and we have been working with her several times. So here the model is wearing Miss Sweet Love, which is my newest handbag following Miss Chill Love. As you can see, she is wearing the back crossbody with my high Polish gold chain and this one is 120cm long. She is 178cm tall, so she is on the taller side. And the back charm is my foxtail in baby pink color in jumbo size. And now she is wearing my Miss Pink BB with my Lucky Crystal Horse Charm on and this one is with the red wine Fox 4 pom pom and it looks really cute together. I'm currently offering 25% discount on Miss Pink BB so don't forget to check that out. I'll also leave all the links down below of the items I've shown you in this video including discount codes. Hi guys, it's Lindy here. I'm back again here today and I thought to vlog today because I'm actually going to film a video of my two Chanel mini handbags. So if you're interested to see that, please follow the next video coming because I think I'll be uploading the vlog first. Simba! So I just wanted to show you guys how I usually do my videos. But as you guys can see, this is my new flower board. So it's really pretty and I'm really excited because this will be my first time filming from this place. But I just want to wait till my housekeeper is gone because then it's silent and I'm alone in my home so it's much more convenient. And when I'm starting to film, I'm sitting right there. And this is just a lightening board or a reflex board. So it does have two faces, one is gold so I don't look so pale. I'm really happy that you guys love my Miss True Love and this is the next version coming and this is Miss Sweet Love. Can see Simba, he's there. He follows me wherever I go. Oh, see my mess, guys. <laughs> Finally, we can start filming. <laughs> so, my husband just came home, so he will take care of the dogs. I'll sit here and let me just take out the bag that I'm going to film. So I actually already sold this bag to a subscriber of mine and she's really sweet and I'm going to ship it one of these days. I think it's quite good that I can film it now because I don't think I will buy extra mini one more time. This is my new silver crystal horse. It's baby pink leather. And silver fox full pom pom. It's so soft. <laughs> So I just finished to film my comparison of these two handbags and currently it's over 9 o'clock and I just still haven't got dinner so I'm really hungry. So my husband and I are going out for dinner right after. Selfie time! Bye! So I just took some cover photos here on my Canon. Really like them with the background. Just took a few so I can choose which one I like. And as you can see, now I need to tidy these things and then I'll go out for dinner with my husband. He has been waiting for so long time. <laughs> so this Lucky Crystal horse is for the girl that purchased my Chanel bag. So I'm going to wrap it back into place first. So this is the actual one that I prepared for her. Oh, 
It's so pretty. I actually just noticed how much it fits inside. I'm so surprised that actually everything that fits in this one will also fit inside this one, just not this one. But I think I could fit more inside my mini square, I just didn't. I'm so surprised it can actually fit that much. I always thought it would only fit my like phone and card holder, that's it. So yeah, did I show you guys my new cards? <laughs> and here's my cream soda. I just placed it here on the floor. As you can see, Tinila, she is mad at me. Tinila! Tinila! Tinila, I'm finished la. Come! Come! Did you finish la? Go there. Good girl. Aww. Oh, my little princess. Mommy Tinila. So, my dogs actually haven't got a shower since before my pre wedding, so it's like eight months ago. I don't know if you guys know that Japanese spits are like the most clean dogs. Their fur is like dry so it doesn't sticky and it doesn't get greasy and they don't smell at all. So people they do think that my dogs need a shower every single day because they're so white. But actually they only need a shower like once every year to two times per year. In Denmark they only shower Japanese spits like one time per year. Right, Tinila, you're beautiful. You look like Snow White. Beautiful, but Gongji. <laughs> so I also have a Pomeranian, and that's with my parents. But you know, Pomeranians need a shower at least one time per week. I'm so happy that they're so low maintenance, and I don't even need to cut their hair or anything. And I also only brush them like once per month or something like that. And they don't even get knots. The fur is so soft and so, so fluffy and beautiful. <laughs> oh, she follows me now. Sit. Pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, that's how it looks after filming. So that's my Miss Trill Love and Miss Sweet Love. But I didn't feature them inside my video. Um, this video is all about comparing these two handbags. If you would like to see that, please click on the video that I already uploaded. I think I will upload that before. Okay, so Tinila, she just jumped up to my bed. Let me show you how excited she is when I talk to her. Tinila! crystal horse with clear crystal baby pink leather and the red wine fox tour from palm so it's really long time since I've used this one but it's really pretty as well and as you can see I'm actually chatting with Angel as I told you guys we are chatting instantly every single day and I just showed her Tinila when I was filming so I just ordered spaghetti you can't even see here because it's so dark. But I just received a tag from a customer that bought my Bistrill Love and she actually made a YouTube video of it. This is not the first time. I actually have a few customers that actually has uploaded videos of my handbag or also my bag charms and I really am so happy for that. She seems pretty. We'll check that video later. I'm so hungry, so I'm going to eat now. So, 
I'm actually going to do a whole bunch of stuff today. So as you can see, I've brought a few pieces of my newest Lucky Crystal horses back home because I'm taking some pictures. Today is a Sunday and it's 1st May. So I'm home today. It's so crowded outside, so I don't even want to go out. But as you can see, this is my newest version of my Lucky Crystal horse. And of course, as always, the crystals are of top quality and perfectly stick to the leather. So they are really beautifully handcrafted and it comes with baby pink leather that one is a bit dirty but as you can see you can choose between baby pink and black leather this time and it's a silver crystal so you can see it's really pretty and this time I have made a silver fox fur pom-pom and it goes so well together with this it's so pretty and this color will match every single color of handbag. So this is more versatile if you don't like the clear or the rose gold version. So I'm going to shoot some pictures now. I really enjoy playing with these girly things because I've spent a lot of time to make them, to choose the materials. And currently, as you can see, they're not finished because we still need to set the hardware on. So as you guys know, even the hardware I use, it's totally made from the scratch for me. So I get the mold produced first and then I have to agree with the design and then how it's polished. And after that, I'm going to get it high polished gold cover. So that is really, really long steps, but it's all worth it because the quality is really much better than the hardware you can buy finished on the market. So we still need to like hand make them and assemble them together. What do you have, Simba? Oh, what's that? So they just all got a bath. <laughs> just so fluffy when they have got a bath. Yuni, play with Simba, okay? Did you enjoy it? Today, my little Pomeranian teenage came back home. So usually my teenage Pomeranian is not living here because she's really small and I don't want her to get hurt by the others. So she's always with my parents. Mm. Oh, she's almost 8 years old and she's still so small. Oh, so fluffy. She also just got a bath. Amani, what are you doing? Not on the sofa. Hi guys, so I just came back home and I need to tidy all these things that we just got. Hi Amani! We just came back home <laughs> and I didn't mean to put my dogs on the stuff. As you can see, it's all snacks. So cute. Oh my god, other dogs don't even dare to come over. <laughs> Because Simba, he's guarding the chicken wings. Can you see that? It's chicken wings. So cute. Simba, editing. Oh. Oh, Simba. Got some mosquito sticks. And I'm eating snacks and I'm really sorry for the lady sanitary paper. But here is the fruit that I'm talking about. And actually I don't know what it's called, but it's called Gata Boko. And actually Angel, she showed me that she googled it. And it's called Jebutikaba. Jebutikaba. It doesn't say that it's a grape, but I'm just worried that it is. If some of you guys know if dogs can eat this fruit, please let me know because I am too scared because you guys know that dogs can eat grape. It will actually damage their kidneys, so it's toxin for them. So I don't want to plant anything in our garden that can ruin their organs. So if you guys know if this is unhealthy for dogs, please let me know. <laughs> tried a big and I really wanted to show you guys so I'm not going to cut my hair so short and I haven't even put it on too well right now but it's really cute I'm just trying on some wigs because I really want to get my hair cut and it really looks dumb right now because I'm not wearing like full face makeup but um yeah it's so cute oh my god but I'm not going to 
like get such a short haircut I'm thinking of getting like a middle length because my hair is already down to my waist like here um, so I really want it shorter and there is not really any meaning to cut it till here because it will still just like be very heavy and very thick oh my god it's so short I think till here will still be fine but I think I will not go so short so I'll maybe take it till here so right now after I filmed that video I actually think it fits so much and oh my god I'm actually going to miss it because it's so cute right it's just a shame because I have never used it but I don't want it to be waste like it has only been in my box I've never brought it out I brought it out for two hours after my unboxing video back in 2013 and that's it it's still brand new oh. but yeah I'm going to pack it now so I just went to change my top because I wore this today but then I changed into the black top because I wanted to see how it goes with this purple hair but yeah you guys might not take me seriously now let me place the camera sorry for my skin it doesn't look that great because i only do have concealer on you can see i have like a spot here and here but yeah i am going to pack the chanel bag actually i've just found how cute it is because now i'm going to sell it and this is my first time selling any of my chanel handbags i've sold a louis vuitton never full before because i really didn't like it but yeah, I'm going to wipe it. This is a brand new microfiber cloth. You guys know that patent leather is really sensitive to like fingerprints. But as you can see, it's brand new. There is no scratches on the hardware. It's actually Yuna's birthday today, the girl who purchased my handbag and she really wanted it on her birthday uh, but she can't because I'm going to ship it to her parents so she can avoid all the taxes and so. So I'm going to wrap this handbag. I've cut a piece of bubble paper because I think it will be better. I don't want the straps to leave any marks on the leather. So as you guys can see, I take really good care of my bags. Even every time after I've used them, I do place them back into their dust bag and like their box because I really just want them to be in pristine condition uh, as I paid so much money for them. And especially the weather in Asia is so, so humid. So I think I will be naming this flower. I sold my Chanel mini flat bag. So and then I'll just close it looks like this so yeah I really just wanted to share with you guys that I'm packing up my Chanel bag and I'm going to ship it away tomorrow but yeah I think that's it for this vlog guys and I'm really sorry for wearing this wig you guys must think that I'm so bad looking but I really hope that you enjoyed this video so I will let you leave now it's already over midnight so I'm going to take a shower and then I'm actually going to public the video when it's uploaded and then I'm going straight into bed I really hope that you enjoyed this vlog please give me a like if you liked it and like me to do more vlogs thank you so much for watching bye so I've packed the Chanel bag and I've just add a lot of extra like bubble paper inside to make sure that it arrives safely without any deforms Bye bye back. I hope that you come to a great home. <laughs> My gift for her didn't fit in well because uh, this box is actually over the corner of this box and it won't make it close. So I just took the dust bag out and then the lucky crystal horse is inside here. So it's still packed really well and I really want to make it snug so it doesn't shake too much as it's still like shipping. You never know how people go with the things so yeah i think actually this would be fine and i really want this to make it tight inside so 
I think that's it. So I just put some stickers like the fragile sticker handled with care and easy broken goods on top and I put it directly in where the box opens so she will see if it gets opened by the shipping courier but I hope not. Yeah.